Halo teman-teman semua, welcome back again to Monosen dan sudah lama banget gua nggak mainin game simulasi lagi ya teman-teman ya karena uh, kemarin kita pernah mainin Planet Poster dan uh, lumayan banyak yang suka ya teman-teman ya dan banyak yang request waktu itu Planet Zubang mainin bang. Nah akhirnya gua baru punya gamenya ya teman-teman ya. Jadi kita akan cobain main Planet Zoo kali ini. So jangan lupa di like, share dan subscribe lalu juga di klik tombol notifikasinya biar dapat update kalau misalkan gue baru upload video yang baru ya teman-teman ya. Dan sorry banget kalau misalkan hari Senin kemarin gue nggak sempat bikin video ya teman-teman ya karena harus ada urusan lain yang cukup menyita waktu dan gue baru balik malam teman-teman. So sekali lagi kita langsung mulai aja Planet Zoo episode pertama. Oke, okay, kita langsung mulai aja main di uh, Planet Zoo dan ini ada franchise, ada challenge, ada sandbox. Jadi kalau sandbox itu tinggal bikin aja ya teman-teman ya. Nah ini tinggal search bio bionya aja atau skenario zoo-nya sudah ada juga. Cuma masih belum bisa kebuka ya teman-teman ya. Jadi gua akan cobain di karir aja karena di karir ada tutorialnya. Karena ini pasti sedikit bingung mainnya kayak waktu di Planet uh, Coaster waktu kemarin. Jadi kita cobain aja pertama ini kita langsung ganti jadi isi aja karena main game ini gua sadar banget kalau misalkan game ini termasuk uh, expert punya ya untuk uh, semacam game simulasi jadi karena detailnya dia banyak banget dan bisa dikerjakan apa aja kita mau bikin apa aja bisa jadi detailnya memang terlalu banyak jadi gua bikin jadi isi aja oke okay, kita sudah masuk ke planet zoo Tadi sedikit ngelag like, ya. Ah, heyo at Hematu. Iya, ya. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry Gede about banget, that. Ya. I, I have a habit of slipping back into the Planko language. <laughs> It's good to finally meet Bernie you Goodwin. in person. I'm Bernard. Although I insist you call me Bernie. Bernie. The only person who calls me Bernard is my wife. <laughs> And even then, only when I've tracked elephant dung into the carpets. <laughs> Ini kandang-kandang. Jadi bikin kebun binatang ya, teman-teman nih. I own several zoos, but I always like to show people the ropes here at my home. This is the first zoo I ever opened and a source of great pride for me. And pride thanks to a wide breeding program we ran in the 80s. <laughs> Grafiknya mantap banget memang. Big renovation. And that's where you come in. Sadly, oh, game -nya mahal banget. Karena uh, yang energy. dari Planet Zoo dan Planet Our Coaster juga salah satu, ya itu yang gue bilang, game simulasi so, yang cukup kompleks you, banget, termasuk yang paling kompleks mungkin. Jadinya memang lengkap dan size-nya gede ya teman-teman ya, dan harganya lumayan makanya. Oh, Even better, one that isn't on fire, less shouting that way. <laughs> Oke, okay, lumayan besar. Kita tadi dikasih tournya sedikit ya teman-teman. Nah ini kita dikenalin sama si Nancy Jones. Jadi yang tadi si Bernie itu adalah pemilik kebun binatang. I hope you're ready to ditch your diploma because we're about to get really hands-on. Nah. But before we begin the real work, how about we familiarize you with the zoo by learning how to fly around it and visiting some of our beautiful animals? We'll start by popping over and having a look see at the grizzly bears in their habitat. Grizzly, grizzly Did you know bear. that grizzly bears, also known as Ursus arctos horribilis, can hibernate for up to seven months a year? Nah, ini dia <laughs> oh, but then again, given the chance, I think a lot of people Namanya would do that ada ya, too. <laughs> Zachar, ja, ja, Zachari. Ah, ya, susah banget. Panel. Information panel. This is where you can find out all kinds of information about your animal. The most important thing being its overall welfare. You'll learn more about animal welfare Mika. today as we go through your objectives. But for now, let's enjoy this magnificent animal. Why don't you select the camera at the bottom of its information panel? Okay. Nah, ini masuk ke kameranya si. See now, this Grizzly. is a fantastic Cinematic. way to get a close look at your animals. You can also get this view of an animal by simply double clicking on it. Oh, bisa, bisa double click Okay, when you're ready, let's pop over to the other side of the zoo and take a look at the lions. I've marked their location for you to find. Okay, kita harus nyari lion, lion. Nah, itu dia lionnya. 
Panthera Leo Leo. All the West Panthera African lion Leo to you Leo. and me. Lions are the most social of the big cats, and there can be as many as 40 lions in a pride. Although prides of that size are pretty rare. As Bernie would say, those <laughs> lions are awesome. Which is precisely why I handle the training instead these days. Anyway, how about we get started on those objectives? Oh, Come on, what? let's head over to an empty habitat and see what needs doing there. Okay. Terus gua harus ngapain? Uh, gila. Grafik singanya cakep banget ya. Ini si betinanya Akilah West African. Malawa, wah uh, gila ini berani banget dia masuk ke kandang singa kayak nggak ada apa-apa. Ini gue disuruh ngapain? Surat habitat, edit barrier nggak usah. Nah ini tadi suruh ngapain ya? Ini Zupedia, ini timeline, ini objektif. Nah. Locate the empty habitat. Okay. Nah ini empty ni masih kosong. As you can see, it's a lovely space for animals, but it's missing a certain something. Well, two somethings. Warthogs. So I'd like you to adopt a pair of them. To adopt animals, we need to open the animal market, which is in the animal trading section. Okay, harus masuk ke animal trading. There we are, a pair of perfectly splendid warthogs for our zoo. Just click on them and select adopt from the side menu. Normally, the animal exchange would be full of animals, but I've emptied out the market while you learn how it works. Okay. The last thing I need is you accidentally ordering a dozen elephants. Okay, kita sudah order. When you adopt an animal, it's automatically placed in the trade center where they're held until you're ready to move them into their habitat. Which, as it happens, you are. Okay, so how about you move them into their new home? Send to zoo. Okay. When you ask for an animal to be moved into a habitat, your caretakers will go to the trade center. Collect your animal and deliver them to your selected habitat. Okay, we're ready. I've marked the trade center's location, so let's go and watch the caretakers in action. How do you see it? Animal trade center. Where is the animal trade center? Oh, this is it. Animal trade center. Okay. Well, as you can see, those caretakers don't hang about. They'll move those animals to their destination as fast as possible. Of course, normally we'd have to place the animals into quarantine before moving them into a habitat. Okay, harus di karantina dulu. But I am assured by a person of good standing that these warthogs are in the very rudest of health. Karena harus diperiksa dulu kesehatannya. Let's get the warthogs habitat finished up so we can keep them nice and happy. You see, each animal in the zoo has an overall welfare statistic, basically how happy they are. And that overall welfare statistic is itself comprised of four different areas. Nutrition, social health, habitat and enrichment. Luckily, if you select an animal, you'll bring up their animal welfare information panel, which we saw earlier, where you can see how they're doing. That way, you'll know exactly what areas need to be addressed. Don't worry if that's a lot to remember. You can always check the Zoopedia for more information. Okay. Let's start by making sure we're taking care of the warthog's nutrition welfare. Okay, to do this, we need makan, to place a food station, station and a drinking station. Now, okay. each animal Karanya? requires a different type of feeding station. And for the warthogs, it's a small feeding trough. So let's add one of those and a water bowl. Okay, habitat. Masukin... Semua, okay. Makanannya kita taruh di mana ya? Di sini kali ya. Okay, ude. At water station, ah, ni waternya juga. Animals also require stimulation to keep them happy. 
Let's add a lovely mud bath for the warthogs to roll around in. <laughs> that bath will count towards their enrichment welfare, specifically their toy enrichment welfare. Okay. Add a mud bed. Oh, nice work. You've got a knack for this, I see. Kita now, kasih India tempat buat ini ya mandi mandi lumpur. Unfinished thingamajigs and what's it's all over the shop. But the first thing we need to finish is the ostrich habitat. It's over near okay, the hippos. Kita pindah sekarang ke ostrich habitat. Oke, okay, ini dia. Oh, before we actually start building our ostrich habitat, let's pause the game. Just okay. click the pause button in the bottom kita right corner. Dulu. Oke, okay, udah. Ah, that's more like it. A quick break. Sometimes it's a good idea to pause the game whilst you're doing something which requires your concentration because it'll stop the zoo spinning out of control while you're looking the other way. Let's keep the game paused while we get this ostrich habitat built. Oke, okay, kita bikin okay. ini Job dulu ya. number one here is to add a habitat gate before oh, we complete the belum barrier. Kelar. Every habitat needs a habitat gate. After all, how else would the keepers get in and out? <laughs> Just make sure it's hooked up to the path so the keepers can reach it. Oke, okay, kita harus kasih pintu habitat gate. Gimana caranya? Oke, okay, barrier. Terus nah ini habitat gate. Ini geser gimana ya? Right. Okay. Let's complete the perimeter barrier so we can adopt us some ostriches. I've marked out an area for you to use, so I'd like you to finish off the perimeter using the brick barrier. Oke, okay, kita bikin barriernya dulu. Good work. Nah, udah, Remember, before you can place animals in any habitat, it has to have a full loop of connected barrier. Now, you've probably noticed that guests can't actually see into this habitat at the moment. At yeah. least not without a step ladder. But seeing as they're banned, I'd like you to select a piece of barrier and swap out the brick for a glass barrier so the guests can see in. Oke. Okay. Kita ganti ini dengan glass barrier. Gantinya gimana nih? There we go. Adding in more windows gives guests even more opportunities to see the animals in a habitat. It's always best to make sure the guests can get a good view into a habitat from the path they're walking on, because it makes them happy, and because this would be a pretty terrible zoo if they couldn't. The last thing we need to do is to add a donation box. You see, when guests enjoy the view of an animal, they'll add make a, a donation. donation box. Just okay. make sure you put them in easy to reach places like near a viewing point. Donation boxes are one of the main sources of income for the zoo, so make sure you remember them. Okay. Now, before we adopt our ostriches, you should click the play button. After all, if the game's paused, then so are our caretakers, which will make it a bit tricky for them to deliver the ostriches, eh? Okay. Ini gua bisa ubah dia lagi jadi glass ya? cuma satu doang sih. Ya udahlah, kita unpause dulu. By the way, as well as pausing the game, you can speed the game up by clicking on the fast forward button. It'll run everything at two times and five times faster. It can be useful especially if you're waiting for money to accumulate or for animals to be delivered to your habitat. Personally, I use it when I'm waiting for a brew to finish. Nih, sambil right. ngedengerin nih teman-teman nih. Habitat, Karena gua masih belum so tahu. Hi, time we adopted those ostriches, don't you think? Let's get four of them in here. Oke, okay, berarti kita harus kasih habitat. Oh enggak, animal trading. Terus, nah ini common ostrich. Kita adopt semua. Karena empat partnya harus di diadopt ya, diadopsi teman-teman. Jadi satu cowok dan tiga cewek, enak banget dia dikelilingin sama cowok-cowok. Eh sama cewek-cewek. Oke. Okay. Ini udah ada ini send to zoo. Terus uh, ini juga ada di trade center, send to zoo. 
Ini juga send to zoo. Send While to zoo. we wait nah. for them to be collected by the caretakers and brought to the habitat, you should get it ready for them. Add a suitable feeding station, water station, and an appropriate food enrichment item. It's often best to place things like enrichments and feeding stations near to the habitat perimeter so guests can get a really good view of the animals. Oke, okay. nah ini kita harus kasih tempat makan. Nah itu baru pada dibawa tuh. Ini gesernya gimana ya? Wah, wow, para datang semua. Terus food enrichment-nya. Oke, okay, beres. Good win house. Bronze-nya sudah ada. They can really stretch their legs. Did you know they can actually run at 43 miles per hour? Ini burung unta ya teman-teman ya. Ini sambil belajar binatang juga nih. Well, Bernie certainly seems impressed. Did he do his speed camera joke? Keep her hot. Every time we get an ostrich. So now we've made the ostriches' lives a bit better. Let's do the same for the keepers, shall we? To make it easier for the keepers to feed the ostriches and hippos, we should build a new keeper hut. Keeper huts are where the keepers prepare the food for animals, so they should be placed near to the habitats to make sure okay. the keepers don't waste their time walking when they should be looking after the animals. Place a keeper hut. Duh, ini kita tutup dulu. Classic Planet Zoo keeper hut. Hmm, bikin ini. You'll need to rotate the keeper hut to get it to connect up to the path. Oh, rotate-nya pencet Z dari tadi gue nyariin. Gimana cara rotate-nya? Oke, okay, udah. And then This keeper hut only has space for one keeper, but the larger keeper hut can allow multiple keepers to prepare food at the same time. Oh, but bear in mind that keeper huts and other staff facilities shouldn't be placed near to areas where there are lots of guests. Guests don't like seeing facility buildings and it can affect their happiness. Oke, okay, boleh terlalu dekat ya kalau misalkan <laughs> bikin keeper hutnya itu di depan banyak pengunjung. Karena pengunjung banyak yang enggak suka, teman-teman. Ternyata obviously includes your newly built keeper hut. Kuda Nil, kuda Nil. Let's place a transformer next to it, shall we? Kuda Nil. Ini udah diisi minumnya. Oke, okay, power the keeper hut. Kita tambahin fasilitinya lagi Transformer Now the reason everything has gone blue Is because you're using the power heat map This map allows you to see what is And what isn't powered in your zoo So once you've placed your transformer You can click in the bottom left To turn the heat map off Oke okay, heat mapnya udah mati Lovely okay. work. Now the keepers can start using the hut to prepare food, and thanks to where you've put it, they won't need to walk very far to deliver it to the ostriches and hippos. Let's get on to your next objective then. Bengal tigers. We want to adopt some, but I'm afraid there's nothing ready okay. for them yet. Head on over ini, to the plot of land I marked out. It's not too ya. far away. Ini malah belum bikin, belum ada gate-nya sama sekali. From scratch. <laughs> and concrete and glass, I expect. So, go ahead and build it. Just make sure that the habitat includes that big hole we've dug. Oh, and don't forget to add a habitat gate to the barrier. Oke. Okay. Ini kasih oh, barrier dulu. Oh, and make sure the guests dulu. will be able to see the tigers. Ini gimana nih cara taruh ininya nih? Kita taruh dulu deh.
Oke, okay. kita bikin pakai gelas dulu di sini. Ini nggak bisa dipendekin ya? Oke, okay. udah ini dinaikin sedikit. Biar karena ini tiger ya. Macan, macan siapa harimau siapa yang nggak takut? Ini kita tinggiin dulu biar aman buat pengunjung juga. Oke. Okay. No no no, pakai gelas, pakai gelas. Oke. Okay. Loh kok malah pakai batu sih? apa jadi pakai batu dia. Nah, itu kayak gelas. Nah, tingginya udah sama semua. Nah, ini sedikit jelek nih. Oke. Okay. Oke, okay. lanjut lagi. Kita tutup dulu gate-nya semua. Barrier-nya. Nah, oke, okay. udah kelar semua. Add habitat gate. Nah, ini kita kasih habitat gate-nya di sini. Now, Bernie takes safety very seriously at his zoos, so we should probably make sure those tigers can't jump out of their habitat, don't you think? Yes. The way we'll do it is by changing the height of the habitat's barrier. Oke, okay, then. Oh, you should start by double clicking ya. the habitat barrier, which will take you into barrier editing mode. Great. Now highlight the entire perimeter of the habitat. You can do that by clicking and dragging the barrier selection tool. Now you've got all of the okay. perimeter selected, you can increase the height of it by clicking and dragging the barrier height tool upwards. You want to make sure it reaches a height of at least 3.7 meters. Oke, okay, 3,7 meter. Oke, okay, udah. Duh, susah banget ke 70-nya. Now that the habitat is in place, don't forget to put down a donation box near to your viewing areas. Oh, yeah. We need box. every dollar we can get. <laughs> Especially as these tigers aren't exactly eating instant noodles for lunch. Donation okay, box, yeah. that's the habitat boundary complete, the habitat gate in place, and most importantly, the tigers won't be able to jump out of it anymore. I think it's time we adopted those tigers. Okay, donation box nya kita taruh lumayan banyak supaya banyak yang donasi ya teman-teman ya karena ceritanya penghasilan itu dari donasinya oke okay. sekarang kita animal trading dan kita cari Bengal Tiger mahal banget ya 12.000 dolar oke okay. nah, saya dituju Whilst our trusty caretakers collect and deliver the tigers, let's take a look at preparing the habitat for their arrival. Okay. We'll start with the basics. Add a suitable feeding station for them. Kita harus kasih feeding station. Uh, harimau. This time, instead of adding a water bowl, let's try something different. 
Some animals need a pool in their habitat so they can go for a swim, but they can also use it to drink from. All you have to do is make sure the banks of the pool have a gentle slope so they can easily get a nice, refreshing drink. There's already a pool excavated, but you still need to fill it with water. You should do that by going into terrain and selecting the water tool. Okay. <coughs> ke terrain, ke water tool. Yes, that'll do nicely. Of course, just like the warthogs and ostriches, these tigers will also need some enrichment. Why don't you add some suitable toy and food enrichment items into their habitat? Okay. Kita kasih enrichment. Rubbing pad. Kita taruh di sini. Frozen blood pumpkin. Okay, it's really starting to take shape. Now, the tigers will need a shelter in their habitat so they can hide from the guests, or more likely the bad weather. Although, shelter. given that we're in England, you we might want to think of that just as normal weather. <laughs> Go on, add a shelter to their habitat. Okay. You can either build one from various suitable bits and bobs, or if you like, just pop down the blueprint that I've already built for you. Kita taruh di sini saja. Oke, okay, sudah ada shelternya. Oh, poor dabs. I'm sure it can't have escaped your attention that the tigers look a bit miffed. That's because they aren't too keen on the type of terrain in their habitat. Select a tiger and bring up its information panel. Right, okay. Click on the terrain tab. That okay. way you can view the terrain information and see how they feel about the different types of terrain. That'll tell you what the tigers need more of or less of in this habitat. Okay, ke terrain. Okay, then. Open the terrain editing tool, select painting, and give them some more soil. Yes, that should help with the habitat part of their welfare. Soil? Oh. Oh, dia sukanya yang soil. Karena habitatnya masing-masing hewan ya beda ya teman-teman ya. Jadi kudu dijadiin soil nih. Tuh. Oke ini udah jadi soil nih beberapa. Terian Welfare Udah nih udah soil semua nih Oke ini kita bikin soilnya sedikit heavy Di sini juga Ya sukanya yang gini malah ya Sedikit soil Sedikit gersang Masih 84 ya Oke okay, terrain welfare nya Grass salt short nya Oh oke okay, oke okay. Gue ngerti gue ngerti jadi ada beberapa tempat yang dikasih gre grass, grass short. Right then, all animals need plants and trees from their own biome or continent. You know, deserts, savannas, or Asia, Europe, that sort of thing. It looks like these tigers need a few more plants in their habitat. Okay, mereka to get butuh a perfect tanaman. fit, use plants from the rainforest and temperate biomes that are native to Asia. Although if you have to, you can okay. get away with using just one or the other. The tigers will also want a certain amount of their habitat okay, to be covered by those plants. To find out which plants to use acacia. and how many, select a tiger and go to the environment tab. Okay, udah. Now, as you can see, some of the plants currently in the habitat aren't quite right for the tiger, like the wattle bushes. You can remove them if you want. Okay. You can find all of the plants you need in the nature section and you can use the filters to only show the types of plants you want to see. In this case that's plants from the rainforest or temperate biomes. 
Oke, okay, kita ke nature. Uh, masuk ke filter. Masuk ke biome. Dia yeah, desert. Kontinennya Asia. Betul kan ya? Asia. Oh, bukan desert. Grassland. Grassland tropical. Nah, dia sukanya yang kayak gini-gini nih. Senang uh. Uh. Si sini lah ya Biar dia bisa sedikit ngumpet kasih di sini pohon-pohon juga supaya dia seneng oke okay. terus ini oh ada yang lebih tinggi Ini lebih gede lagi malah. Ini lebih tebel lagi. Oke, okay, kelar. They say the good fences make good neighbors. I guess that's doubly true when one of the neighbors is a Bengal tiger. Still, those tigers look so happy that I doubt they leave. Even if you did poke a hole in their fence. <laughs> oh, but for heaven's sake, don't ya, test lumayan that. Lumayan lah ya buat pemula. Right. Bikin habitatnya. Let's head over to the Indian peafowls. I've been told that we need to improve their social welfare. Ini pada seneng gak sih? Oh, banyak banyak yang nonton, banyak yang nonton. Uhu. Dia bisa ngeliatin, oke, dia jalan. Ini pura-pura jadi pengunjung ya. Wah, ini sih keren banget sih memang ya, memang detail banget teman-teman. Harimau nya pada di mana? Ini satu di sini. Ini si Ens. Satu lagi mana nih? Loh, satu lagi hilang. Temanmu di mana? Ger. Tiger lagi berenang kali ya. Oh, dia berenang. <laughs> Lucu ya dia berenang ya. Uh, keren lu. Bulunya jadi kelihatan basah juga, teman-teman. Emang keren, emang keren. Oh iya, itu pupnya bener tadi. Ini satu lagi kemana? Rasanya ada dua. Hilang. Gak mungkin keluar kan? Oh ini dia lagi tiduran di gak kelihatan dong tadi sedikit picak mata gue. Oke teman-teman sampai di sini dulu aja video pertamanya ya teman-teman ya. Jadi kita sudah mulai belajar jadi pemilik kebun binatang cara ngatur uh, kandangnya, terus hewan-hewannya gimana dimasukinnya, kasihin environmentnya ya lingkungannya. Jadi ya masih banyak hal yang perlu dipelajari dulu sebelum kita main benar-benar untuk bikin sendiri. Karena ini sangat kompleks jadi uh, kita ngikutin career mode-nya aja dulu ya teman-teman ya. Biar kita juga ngerti cara bikinnya sama cara mainnya. 
So sekali lagi thank you banget yang sudah nonton Jangan lupa di like, share, dan subscribe Lalu juga di klik tombol notifikasinya Biar dapat update kalau misalnya gue baru upload video yang baru setiap harinya So sekali lagi thank you banget yang sudah nonton Dan masih nemenin gue sampai sekarang Kita ketemu lagi di video berikutnya See you guys and bye bye